Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades that were posted on Friday, 2nd of June 2023. The next few trades were shared by AA who's trading NASDAQ in the form of CFD. As you see the macro chart of 5 minutes is in sideways wide range and the price is reaching the area of the dynamic resistance. We can see the uptrend channel here in the structural chart that lost momentum. So using a smaller tick chart, he identified the pullback here and intercell short with setup B. And also when the pullback got completed, using setup C and T, he identified two long positions and trailed and managed them to close them with profit. So thank you AA for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Johnny from New York. He's trading S&P 500 futures. As you see here, the macro chart is in downtrend and it broke this level and it's continuing to go down. You can see that in a structural chart, the downtrend channel and the level that broke. So using a smaller trading chart, he identified a good area of pullback and entered multiple position and just reached the target here and closed them with exit statue number one with profit. So thank you, Johnny, for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Ren, or global instructor and programmer, who has created a robot that can identify the high probability trading area when the three time frames are aligned. You can see here there was a signal for the formation of setup T on the DAX index, and due to high correlation of these indices with the S&P 500, he entered the S&P 500 at that area of the signal. He entered the area when the pullback got completed based on ALGO 4 and 5, and kept this and closed it with very high risk to reward ratio on S&P 500. So thank you very much, Rand, for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Yan, or global instructor, who's trading Nasdaq futures. As you see the macro chart, she is showing that the price was going up, but reached an area and stalled and started to come down and shows a pullback and you can see this pullback on the structural chart with this channel when this area of the complex pullback broke and it started to go down this provided opportunity for less risky sell short and then he used a smaller time frame to identify the pullback and enter one position during the london session and close this with profit so thank you yan for sharing your trades with us the next few trades are those I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you my trades today on Friday, 2nd of June, 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ and Russell futures. As you see the price on the one hour macro chart shows that it was going up during the Globex session and during the London session, it was testing this point of control and coming back also between the previous day high and close. And during the New York market session, the price initially started to go up again. And so these few uptrend candles that was forming, I traded here as you see with long positions. And when the price went back and retested this previous day close at this level around 14,500. I started a few position and took a runner and hold it for the price to go and retest this level. So these are the runner that I took after 10 o'clock on NASDAQ and also on the Russell that you see. So the signals were copied again by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts and was as usual positive with high win rate and profit factor. The largest winning trades from these runners were about $800. So thanks for your attention. I hope these trades taken by the PAN system is useful for you. And let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.